Inoue is the best fighter I've ever seen. What did he say? Oh. Ever seen, no matter what weight category. <laughs> this man will be considered the greatest fighter that ever lived. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Lomachenko is, to my mind, the greatest fighter I've seen since Muhammad Ali. Huh? In a way, is the best fighter I've ever seen. Bullshit! 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 bullshit. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm both. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, so check this out, man. So, you know, I, I, those of you that pay attention to boxing, you already got to know this information, man. But I just thought it was very funny because I stumbled upon an article, you know, where um, apparently Bob Aram, Aram was recently interviewed again, and he um, said some things, you know. Like I said, he said this before. He said he's going to say it again. But I just thought it was very interesting. You know, I just thought it was very funny because of Bob Aramis once again said that, you know, he has declared Na Yedwe as the best fighter that he's ever seen. Not only is he pound for pound, but he's, he's the best fighter that he's ever seen. You know, check it out. Inoue is the best fighter I've ever seen. Ever seen, no matter what weight category. And, and you know... I don't have a problem with this because now he anyway is a two-time undisputed, you know what I'm saying? And, and he is top of the pound for pound list. I think it's very interchangeable right now between the three, between three people, you know, that being Alexander Usyk, Terrence Crawford, and now you anyway, yeah. whatever, whatever order that you have him in is, is acceptable, you know, yeah. um, as they both, all three of them have uh, accomplishments of being undisputed at three different weight divisions. And you have some other accomplishments along the way, accolades along the way, but just from that benchmark, uh, um, that, that, that's, that's a great conversation to be in. You know, me personally, I have Terrence Crawford number one right now now because he just claimed another belt at a higher weight division 154 and i have Usyk number two for being the the first uh undisputed heavyweight in in, in the last quarter century 25 years and that in a way uh coming in as number three but uh, up until a couple weeks ago when terence crawford won his last fight against israel Majumov, i had i had terence crawford number three and i had Usyk number one and now you in a way number two so I think you could justify all that. You can even justify, you know, Canelo's position as well, Cinnamon, you know, being undisputed at 168. But there's a lot of men and women that could be, you know, considered for the greatest of all time and the best you've ever seen, you know. And it's hard to argue with Bob Aram. You know, he's uh, 92, 93 years old. He has over 60 years in, in, in the sport of boxing. But, you know, I just thought it was very funny because, you know, didn't Bob Aram say this? Well, well. This man will be considered the greatest fighter that ever lived. <laughs> Yeah, he, he 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 said the same thing about Pacquiao. You know, he said Pacquiao was the best that he's ever seen. But wait, is this is this Bob Aram right here again? Lomachenko is, to my mind, the greatest fighter I've seen since Muhammad Ali. Hell, I'm convinced that he'll say me and you are the best fighters that he's ever seen in his life if we went and fought for him. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, he also said Lomachenko was the best he's ever seen. And wait, is this him one more time? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. So, yeah, he's complimenting Ali. You know, and saying he's the best he's ever seen. Rest in peace, you know, Ali, man, one of the GOATs, man, for sure. Um, and he's also even said it about Floyd Mayweather. And I'm not saying that you, you can't have these opinions. And, you know, of course, if you want to go by chronological order, you could make an argument and say, hey, man, you know, first he said Ali was the best. Then he worked with Floyd, said Floyd was the best. Then he worked with Pacquiao, said he was the best because all these are going. But, you know, even though Floyd beat Pacquiao later on. But, you know, and they can say, hey, man, well, hey, man, I, I work with Lomachenko now. Lomachenko is the best, man. He's even better than what I thought was the best. And he worked with Nye anyway. He's like, man, he might be even better than I than I've ever seen, you know. So you could you could say that, yeah, he's being honest, but then you then you then you sit there and think it's Bob Arum. <laughs> I don't know if there's an honest bone in that man's body. You know, what the glaring coincidence is, what the glaring common denominator between everybody he, that he has declared is the best is that they all work with him. It would be, I would, I would be more convinced if he was kicking to me that this person is the best that he's ever been, as he ever seen. And I would, I would, I would, I would be less prone to question his, 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 his honesty and, and, and whether or not he's being genuine. If he would ever say that somebody's the best, or proclaim that this person is the best and he's not working with them. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> so everybody, not only has everybody that he's worked with, no, not, not only has everybody that he's called the best worked with him, 
but they're currently working with him when he's calling them the best. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, can Naya Inouye be considered the best? Yeah. Can Terrence Crawford be considered the best? Yes. Could Usyk? Yes. And if you say Naya Inouye is the best that you ever seen that's believable and it's justifiable like i said it depends if you as long as you're a boxing fan it's not anything ridiculous then that's okay like i don't think thinking now you anyways the best ever is, is ridiculous because he has a lot of accomplishments i don't think saying floyd is the best i don't think cinnamon saying cinnamon is the best uh sugar ray robinson sugar ray leonard you know um alexander Usyk. there's so many different fighters that you can list as being potentially the best that 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 are suitable for 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 that title you know as long as you know boxing and you and you can formulate an argument which i feel like i could make an argument for all of them me personally, I think Floyd is the greatest of all time. But you know, some people call me crazy for that. Some people say no, Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson, or or, or, or Julio Cesar Chavez. So there's a lot of great boxers, man. That that we just got to respect them all. But I just think it's real funny, you know, that Bob Arum, everybody that's the best according to Bob Ar- to Bob Arum, he was currently promoting them at the time. And then once he's done promoting them, like Floyd Mayweather, then they're not good anymore. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> so- <laughs> They're not as good. He was sadly mistaken. You know what I'm saying? His eyes play tricks on him, Dad. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man. So, so now you're in a way being considered the best. Can he be considered the best? Yes. Can you make an argument for that? Yes. You can make an argument for Terrence Crawford as well. And you can make an argument for Usyk, especially that all three of them, none of their stories are are, are, are are done being written yet. You know, they're still they're still being written right now, you know, as they're still active. So that's that's the dope thing about it. But you know, we can't forget about the Ali's and 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 and, and the Pacquiao's and the Julio Cesar Chavez and the Floyd Mayweathers and, and Sugar Sugar Ray Robinson. Sister Gray Leonard's and all those guys, but Rocky Marciano's, all these guys that that are, that are equally um, that are equally qualified to be considered one of the greatest of all time. And then when you also you got to remember too, Bob Arum also said Lomachenko was the best of all time. Bullshit! Bullshit! That he's ever seen of all, you know, uh, not too long ago as well. So uh, it's, it's like. Uh, <laughs> It just, it just that you, you know, I don't know, man. But I mean, let me know who y'all think is the greatest of all time. Do you think it's Naya Inouye? I don't think that's a bad choice. Do you think it's Terrence Crawford? Do you think it's Floyd Mayweather? Do you think it's Muhammad Ali? Do you think it's Julio Cesar Chavez? Like, you know, and so many other greats, you know what I'm saying? It's a shallow pool, but there's a few, that, but those few that belong in that pool uh, of, of of the GOAT considerations, you know, they, they have a great argument for themselves as well, man. Let me know what y'all think about that. Do you believe Bob Arum? Do you think he's sincere? Do you think he has any sincerity when he declares Naya Inouye the greatest of all time or you think he's just blowing his horn because uh, uh, that's that's who's signed to him currently man it's advantageous for him to for him to big up his fighter which is nothing wrong with that he's a promoter he's supposed to do that but I just thought it was funny man but yeah I appreciate y'all rocking me as always let me know in the comments who you think the greatest of all time is and who's the best fighter and um, yeah give me your top three man think about it Dylan Dylan <laughs> Dylan, Dylan. The main point is, man, just, you know, if you watch boxing, you can formulate your own opinion because a lot of people that say this person's the best or that person's the best, they have some bias with it, you know? So just make your own opinion, man. You're capable of it. I, I, I believe in you. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Appreciate y'all. As always, the doctor's out, man. Y'all be easy. But oh, before I go, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Peace. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets